The month of March is here, and for us anglers, this is an exciting time of the year. Water temperatures are warming up, air temperatures are warming up, and then bass are starting to move into them shallower areas. And for us anglers, it's going to be either a lot of big numbers days and a day to get a big size quality bass, maybe your personal best of the year. With that being said, in this video today, you're going to get to hear Randy Blockett share his five top lures he likes to throw in March, and you also get to hear from me my five top lures that I like to throw in March with this guys you're gonna to get to hear on areas retrieves what we're looking for and how he fishes a lure compared to me we also might have some difference in lures because of where we're at located in the country hey stay tuned for this video guys you're not gonna to want to miss it and one last thing real quick hey please hit the subscribe button for us give us a like let us know what you think on the video hey thank you for watching now let's go see what Randy's lures are Hey everybody and welcome back to another edition here of Bass Fishing Declassified. Today we're going to go over what my five favorite lures are for the month of March and I'm going to sort of tell you the situations I like to fish them in because man March is like in my opinion one of the best months to fish as far as catching quality fish. The bigger female bass are starting to move up a little bit shallower and it's a really good time uh, to catch some, some really good ones out there in March. So Anyway, let's go over the top five here, what I really like here. So the first of all we're gonna talk about is pretty, is a lot of you guys probably would agree with this, is a jerk bait. But specifically, uh, this is the Mega Bass uh, LBO 110 Max. Now this is a larger jerk bait. This is not uh, the same size as like the Mega Bass Vision 110. Um, this bait is, uh, you know, over six inches long. And the reason I like the large LBO jerk bait in the month of March is uh, the gizzard shad and the threadfin shad in the month of March are larger than they are most all year long. They're very mature, and I find when that water temperature starts to get up over 50 degrees, these larger jerk baits like the 110 Max LBO is a really good uh, choice in the month of March. Okay, the next one is a swing head jig. This is the uh, just a you know swing head jig, a 516 ounce swing head jig. I've got a Zoom Z Craw Junior trailer on it, which is my favorite March trailer. But guys, uh, fishing these on secondary points in the month of March is a really good way to catch them. Um, I try to target that five to 10 foot range, just throw it out there, reel it slowly along the bottom. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of chartreuse on the tail, but a wobble head or a swing head jig is one of my favorite March lures. Okay, the third one is square bill crankbait. Now, a lot of people may not consider square bill a March lure, but guys, some of the biggest bags, some of the biggest bags of fish I've caught in March have came on a square bill. Now, the, the thing about the square bill in March is that, again, just like with the jerk bait, I like to go big. This is the Mega Bass S Crank 2.0. This is the largest square bill that, that, that Mega Bass makes. And guys, this is a killer when that water temperature starts to get in the mid to upper 50s. So we're talking about this technique is gonna be really good like in mid to late March. What I like to do, is I like to go back into the major creek arms and I get on the steeper banks, like the bluffy type banks, uh, steeper 45 degree angle rock banks, and I parallel this bait um, down the, the uh, uh, rock bank or riprap. Riprap is another good selection for it. Try to target sort of that two to four foot range. You know, I'm fishing it usually on like 15 pound test, Seaguar and Vizx fluorocarbon, just covering water with it with a stop and go retrieve. Sometimes I'll put a little lead weight on the bottom so it doesn't float up quite as quick, but most of the time, like I said, I'm using the medium stop and go retrieve, parallel those rocky banks, and guys, it will catch you some really good fish. Okay, the third one is another Mega Bass lure, the Mega Bass Magdraft. Now, this is the eight inch model. This is, again, this is a larger bait, big fish lure. Guys, again, once that water temperature starts to get into the mid 50s, this big mag draft will catch some hogs. It's one of my favorite ways to catch quality bass. And what I'm doing with this thing is I like to target main lake and secondary points, sort of the staging areas. Any any time that you've got a main lake or a secondary point, it's a good staging area for those bass to set up on before they actually start to move shallower into the adjacent coves. And I take the mag draft out there basically throw it to the bank and I just slow reel it back to the boat trying to target you know sort of that uh, really the three to ten foot zone a lot of it depends on the water clarity if the water's a little bit clear you may move out a little bit deeper but wherever you're fishing it just try to sort of keep it in the mid water column like there so if you're in 20 foot of water try to get it down about 10 foot if you're in 10 foot of water try to get it down about five feet 
but the mega bass bag, mag draft in march will catch you some really cool qual really quality fish and finally the fifth lure is a, a jig this is the block at old school jig this is the 3 8 ounce brown and orange with a green pumpkin a zoom super chunk on it guys in march you can't beat jig jig is one of the top lures for the month of march and in March, I like to target rock. So just like with the square bill, like with the S-crank parallel on those rocky, bluffy banks, I like to take the jig, full-size jig like this, and pitch it to bluffy banks, rocky banks, riprap, all that type of structure, targeting that sort of that three to five foot zone. So it's a, a really effective way to, to catch some really good fish. So again, guys, that's my top five. You got the jig, you got the Mega Bass Mag Draft, you got the 110 Max LBO Big Jerk Bait. You got the Mega Bass 2.0 Oversized Square Bowl Crankbait. And then you've got your uh, Wobblehead Jig. Those are the five baits that have really, really produced well for me all over the country. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Those are some good lures and tips with it, man. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Now you get to hear my top five lures. And so I'm going to start off with the one that I think uh, anybody can throw at any expertise and, and any years you have behind fishing. And it's one man that catches a lot of fish from here on out this time of year. And it's the Carolina rig. Guys, a Carolina rig is a versatile, versatile lure, versatile presentation. You can throw it shallow. You can throw it deep. Uh, right now with these fish, there's a lot of fish that are going to be moving into these uh, these areas, these secondary points. There's going to be there's some staging areas, and a Carolina rig is a good option to go after some of these fish. And and, and typically, sometimes these fish this time of year are not as, as, as active, and a Carolina rig can go after them non-active fish. Like I said, hey, Carolina rig, my fluke, I'm going to throw a fluke on the Carolina rig, I will switch up with the brush hogs, lizards as well. But man, a fluke's gonna be my, my first choice. And my second lure, and so you just heard, uh, just saw, saw me share a lure that's a bottom presentation, more for them fish that are on the bottom. Now I'm gonna share a fish, uh, a lure for the suspended fish, and it's a jerk bait. So I have two right here. I got the Berkeley Stunner, which is gonna be more for that four to seven foot range. And then I have the Six Sense Provoke 106 DD, and this is gonna be for, for more than deeper fish and clear water situations. Uh, so the jerk bait, what I like to do is fish look the same thing we're gonna be looking at staging areas uh, it could be your secondary points it could be your humps it can be uh, points in there there could be a timber line I'm gonna be uh, looking for fish that are suspended and can still be relating around bait I'm not though the thing that I'm not gonna do with this lure is just randomly throw it if I see fish on the live scope or if I see bait, then I'm going to have this in my hand. But I'm not just going to go out and fish it like I used to. The lure for March now is kind of actually similar to the jerk bait, but this is going to be more for my shallower fish. Okay, let's say I'm fishing a lowland reservoir. Uh, we have grass, we have some kind of vegetation, or you can still fish this off the points and fish it in clear water. But it's just going to be a soft plastic jerk bait now. This right here is the big bite baits fluke, and they caught the big uh, they caught the jerk bait, but it's just a a fluke style lure. Uh, like I said, I, I love throwing the Strike King caffeine shads as well. They're actually a little heavier so I can cast them farther and let them sink a little bit. But for my shallower areas, I'm going to throw the fluke and I will switch up how I fish it. Uh, I'll fish this thing pretty fast. What's up guys? I'm going to share with you a new feature that we are offering on the Bass Fishing Classified channel and that feature will help you become a better angler and also give you a chance to support the Bass Fishing Declassified channel. And that is by becoming a member. If you become a member, you're going to be able to get one extra video a week of me breaking down a lake or just a section of a lake. When you're a member, uh, you're going to get a chance to uh, provide the lakes that you would like me to break down. And I will, I will go ahead and break them down for the upcoming months, the weeks of how I would go attack the lake. Also, as a member, you're going to be able to have a chance to go, go through polls that will uh, help us kind of give it ideas for content. And then with it too, I'm going to be able, uh, I'm, at the, I'm working on getting me a, a new uh, a email address and I'm going to be able to share that with y'all. And if there's any times you want to have a question uh, of about a fishing trip or, or just anything that you want to ask, you can be able to email me and then I will get back with you. Like I said, hey, we appreciate all the support. This is just another chance for you to support the channel so we can keep providing content for you guys. Like I said, thank you very much, and we will see you. I will also fish it slow, but if I see grass and then there's a hole, I'm going to bring it over that grass, drop it right in the hole. So like I said, hey, a fluke, and like I said, it's a, it's a great pre-spawn uh, of lure for fish and also spawning fish. Like I said, you know, this thing right here will catch fish. Uh, and like I said, you know, I'm not saying that you're sight fishing for them. I'm just saying that, you know, if they are on beds nearby and you put this near them, it will catch them.
The lure that I like to throw during the month of March is the bladed jig. Man, it starts catching fish for me down south in February. March, it starts becoming more of a player as well. And like I said, I will, I will have of the variety of the bladed jigs, the jackhammer, chatterbait. This is the big blade one here. Like I said, I was giving it a shot today because I was fishing some muddy, muddy water. And like I said, you know, this is also can be fished well in that shallower water as well. And it gives off a lot of thump vibrations. Like I said, there's times I'm going to throw the jackhammer. Times I'm going to throw the original chatter, chatterbait as well. So with that, like I said, a bladed jig for me is going to be on the deck probably for, for my lowland reservoirs from here on. The last lure that I, I will talk about is going to be a Texas rig creature bait. Okay, this right here is just the end. So like this right here is the big bite baits fighting frog. I will throw the Z crawl as well. You can flip uh, brush hogs, baby brush hogs, uh, whatever your creature bait style is. Like I said, this is just the one I have on currently right now. With this, I'm going to be looking at targets, okay? It's going to be lay downs. It could be stumps. I might still use my live scope. If I see a stump out in front of me and I think there's a fish on it, and let's say I, I'd, you know, if I throw a jerk bait at it and I see there might be some activity, or if I'm just flipping the bank and I'm scanning out here in the middle of these coves, okay, and, and I see a stump, I will flip this past it and work it up there, seeing if there's a pre-spawn fish or a fish spawning on that stump. Uh, like I said, I really enjoy, I don't know about you guys, I mean, I mean, it's cool catching them on, you know, your suspended baits and stuff, but man, I really love catching them flipping these dudes, okay, like I said, so it's that time of year, I'm going to be looking for, like I said, spots, areas that they can come stage up, spawn at, it can be your grass mats, it could be the grass points, wood, okay, just, you, you know, what I'm talking about when you're flipping. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Let us know what's your favorite uh, tip, your lure, retrieve, or, or anything from the video today. Give us a comment on it. Like I said, let us know if you enjoyed Randy's five or my five, depending where you're at in the country or your style of fishing. Hey, once again, thank you. We'll see you next time.